Hi guys, my name is Gerrit. I'm the CCTV specialist for ZK Teka, South Africa. And today I'm going to show you step by step how to install your IP CCTV system. I'm going to show you the equipment you're going to use to install your IP CCTV system. Here we've got our NVR. It's an 8 channel NVR, it's got an Ethernet port. It uses 12 volt adapter to give power to the NVR. Here we've got our PoE switch. It's a 24 port PoE switch and it can take up to 4, 6 and 8 cameras depending on your installation. Here we've got our dome camera. You can install it indoor or outdoor, depends on your application. It's a 30 meter day-night IP camera. You also got your Ethernet port and a 12 volt socket. The 12 volt socket you will use if you don't have the PoE switch. Then you can get a 12 volt 4 amp power pack that gives power to your dome camera. Here we've got our bullet camera. 30 meter outdoor mainly but you can install it indoor as well. It's got your ethernet port and it's got the 12 volt socket for your separate power that you can use from the power pack 4 amp 12 volt. Next I'm going to show you the aspects of your hardware. Here we've got our PoE switch. It's got 24 ports, your two uplink ports and your fiber. On our NVR you've got your 12 volt DC input for your power, your LAN connection, your USB, your HDMI, audio out and VGA. This is our switch that's connected to the internet. You can use a four port switch as long as you can connect it to the internet itself. From your PoE you connect a cable to your switch. From your NVR LAN connection you link it to your uplink port. Next I'm going to show you how to connect your cameras to your PoE port via your CAT5 cable. So here we've got our CAT5 cable and our Ethernet port of our camera. There you've got your 12 volt DC and your audio out. So first we plug in our CAT5 cable into the camera and then from your camera We plug it into your port number one on your PoE switch. Second camera, we also plug it into your Ethernet port of your camera, CAT5 cable. And then you plug it into your PoE port number two. Now that your camera is connected, you can connect your PoE switch to your Ethernet switch. From your uplink port, you plug it into your Ethernet switch which gives internet to your PoE switch and your NVR. From your NVR, you plug your cable into your NVR and from your NVR to your uplink port number 2 on your PoE switch. Next, I'm going to show you how to configure your IP network camera onto your NVR. Once you power up your NVR, 
you will see this screen. On the screen, you right click with your mouse, you go to your menu, username admin, password is one, two, three, four, five, six. That is your default password. It will always be admin one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you just cancel, right click again, then you go to your wizard. Now you're going to go through your installation wizard. Welcome, system settings, let's go to system settings, your resolution of your screen and your language. Next step, time configuration. This is your time zone system time date display format time display format there you can select how you want it let's go to next here is your local network configurating network card you're going to use LAN 1 remember to enable DHCP so that your NVR can get its unique IP address once you have clicked on the square, you go to complete. Now you go right click on the mouse, you go to menu, network manage. There you will see network card, LAN 1, enable network, disconnecting alarm, MAC address, network status. You will see your DHCP is on, which means that your net, your NVR is on its own IP address. Then platform settings, protocol name, enable, alarm, central server, serial number, status. Status is important. There you will see that your NVR is online and you can go ahead to your cameras. Once you are done there, you can go to save. And then the arrow on top. Now you go to channel manage. And you go to add channel. Once you click on add channel, you will see ZK Teco P on with ZK Teco. Click on the first one and on the second one and refresh. Now you will see all the cameras that's on the network. Remember the bullet camera and the dome camera, the IP address is on defaults. So the default IP address is 192.168.1.86. So you will see there is the first camera and then there is the second camera. Once you see the default IP address, just tick on the square and remember to tick on the second round circle, force to modify IP address. Now you press OK. Press OK. Now you will get your unique IP address for both cameras. D1, that's first channel, connection address, that's your IP address for your first camera, port 80, protocol ZK Teco, connection status online. D2, that's your IP address, your port, protocol ZK Teco, and connection status online. Always check if your two cameras is online. If it shows online, it means that your camera is connected to your NVR and then you just go to the arrow on top and exit. Now you will see the two cameras are connected to your NVR. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about our CCTV equipment, click on the link below. 
Like and subscribe so you don't miss out.